Hello, everybody. Welcome. My name is Dan Truman, and I'm a proud recruitment officer with Loyalist College. I have Steve Cook, Program Coordinator for the Pre-Service Firefighter Education and Training Program with me today. Steve, welcome. Good morning, Dan. Steve, tell the audience a little bit about yourself and your professional background as it pertains to firefighting. Sure. So uh, as a firefighter, I've been part of the Township Fire Department here for over six years now. Um, something that as soon as I started into my process of becoming a recruit and getting on, it's um, something I've really found a good passion for. Um, something about working with the people that are involved in the fire department, um, learning the skills, um, <clears throat> the physical aptitude of it. It's just a combination of things as well as helping other community that really makes it really enjoyable. Excellent. Steve, uh, I know this is, this is a brand new program for Loyalists. Uh, can you just tell us a little bit about the program? Sure. So the pre-service firefighter program is for any students that are interested in becoming firefighters. Um, we're going to take students through an NFPA 1001 Firefighter 1 and Firefighter 2 curriculum. And upon completion of our course, we're going to host evaluations put out by the OFM. Um, so the OFM will send in evaluators and they'll actually evaluate the skills and knowledge of our students and any successful candidates will receive their Firefighter 1, Firefighter 2 credentials from the Ontario Fire Marshal. Steve, tell us a little bit about the program's admissions requirements. Do they have to be a volunteer firefighter to get into the program? No, Dan, um, our students don't have to be part of the fire department before they come in, so they don't have to be a volunteer firefighter to register. Um, admission requirements for this program are gonna be grade 12 English, college or university level, um, a grade 11 math, same thing, college or university level. Um, there's also going to be a science component in there. So grade 11 or 12, we're looking for a student that's completed a biology, a chemistry, an exercise science, or a physics course, again, at that grade 11 or 12 program level. Perfect, Steve. Thank you for clarifying that. No problem. Steve, I know that in the firefighting profession, uh, there's a lot of probably physical demands to that uh, profession. Can you tell us some of the physical requirements students will need to meet throughout the year? We are going to put together program that's going to work our students towards um, a kind of combination between the York Firefighter Fitness Test as well as the FPAT test. So the FPAT is a Firefighter Physical Aptitude Test. Um, both of these tests are kind of recognized provincially and they're both what our local fire departments are going to look for in our graduates. Um, so really it's a lot of uh, mimicking normal firefighter physical tests. So we're looking at equipment carries. So there'll be 40 pound equipment carries as well as 80 pound equipment carries over designated times. Um, we're gonna have charged hose line advance. So a 45 mil charged hose line, students are gonna have to pick that up and advance it. Um, a weighted sled pull. And again, these are gonna be like over different reps and over times, but monitoring the students, make sure they can fall within the time completion. Um, there's gonna be a forcible entry simulation. Uh, a victim rescue, so that was going to be a 183 pound dummy. We're going to have to drag that through kind of a serpentine obstacle course for 100 feet. <laughs> and uh, we're going to have a ladder climb. So up and down a ladder, 10 rungs, five times, and you got to complete that in like a minute and 45 seconds. That's amazing. So, I mean, with our students are going to kind of have the competitive edge when they go into the firefighting field, given the, you know, the, the physical requirements they have to meet in the program throughout the year. Exactly, exactly. And like you said, it's a physically demanding job. So we want to make sure that they're well prepared when they do go into these positions. Absolutely. Uh, uh, Steve, can you just kind of tell us uh, what makes the program unique? Yeah, so our program is going to be unique in the way that we're going to take a good focus on personal wellness, um, which may sound kind of odd, but at the same time, um, like you said, it's a physically demanding job. So we're going to look at the physical side of it. Um, but not just that, we also want to look at like the uh, firefighter wellness side. So how can you keep yourself mentally prepared and mentally well throughout this career? So although it's physically demanding, there's a lot of other things that go on um, as far as being part of different scenes and different issues that sometimes can dwell or live with inside a person. So we want to make sure that our students Absolutely. are prepared to kind of deal with that situation um, and not just within ourselves, but within our colleagues and sometimes within some of the victims of some of these tragedies that we're going to attend. How can you deal with helping to mitigate their problems and how can you help deal with them on scene so before they get to see a counselor what can we do to help out with some of that absolutely that's very that's very unique um, yeah i didn't know about that that's that's fantastic steve um steve as for the hands-on learning your, your students learn at the hastings prince edward mutual aid uh, association fire training complex 
looked online. That that place looks amazing. Can you tell tell us a little bit about that unique space? Yeah, so it's a it's a cool place. Um, so it's a Hastings Prince Edward mutual aid training facility. Um, I want to talk a little bit about the mutual aid group. So within Hastings County and Prince Edward County, all of our fire departments work together, and that's the whole mutual aid um, association side of things. Um, so we actually get together once every quarter we have meetings kind of discuss what's going on in different departments and how we can all work together um, <clears throat> out of that became our Hastings Prince Edward training facility so we all decided that we needed somewhere that we could train together um, or even independently but somewhere where we could set up bigger scenes or bigger evolutions that we could carry out so that kind of created the development of the Hastings Prince Edward training mutual aid center um, from there now with our partnership with Loyalist College, the facility and the groundworks are all there. Um, so as, um, Loyalist College, we're going to come in, we're going to take our program there. There's a beautiful new classroom and bay set up for the fire trucks. Um, they've got a tower assembly. They've got a live burn chamber. Um, yeah, they've got everything we need to make this class happen on scene. So it's going to be great for us to be there and take advantage of that facility. That sounds amazing, Steve, and I urge anybody, uh, I had a look at that complex online. If you go to our website, www.loyalistcollege.com, go to all programs at the top, select pre-service firefighter education and training program, you will be able to see that complex if you scroll down the page and click on the link. It's very cool, uh, very enticing for students that you know are looking to get into the program. Definitely something that I would consider if I was uh, a student looking into the program as well. Yeah, and again, something that as part of our mutual aid association, like something that we're all proud of within this community, just to, like I said, built that from our own fire departments as a group. Um, pretty neat to get a bunch of fire departments to come together to put something like that together. And now, again, to be able to share that with Loyalist College and um, educate students, the future firefighters of this area and others, it's going to be pretty cool. Absolutely. That's amazing, Steve. Well, just, uh, you know, I really thank you for, for, for uh, your information today. We really appreciate it. I'm going to ask you one last question, Steve. Sure. What do you love most about the students at Loyalist? What do I love most about the students at Loyalist? Oh, man, I love the uh, small community of it. It's great, again, walking up and down the hallways, be able to look at people and recognize people, know them by name, have those conversations. Um, it's going to be really cool to see our firefighter students walking up and down the hallways with some of their station wear on. Um, showing off our fire department logos. It's yeah, it's gonna be really cool. Um, and again, just being around that community and getting to know everybody. Yeah, I know I'm looking forward to it, Steve. Yeah. Well, Steve, thanks again for discussing uh, Loyalist Pre-Service Firefighter Education and Training Program with us. For those of you out there, if you have any questions about this program or other programs at Loyalist, please visit our website and book an advising appointment. You can also email recruiter at loyalistcollege.com. We look forward to hearing from you. Thank you.